Ah, uh, Hosekino no Rei Tetsu. I saw what you did. You had Colonel Sanders in the freaking episode. Really, of all things, you give us Colonel Sanders from KFC. Damn. That was freaking hilarious. If you pause the screen fast enough, you'll see Colonel Sanders, and I laughed my ass off when I saw that. So besides that, this episode was split up into two different segments. We had the entire section of Isen Boshi's folklore, we got the other section of how we see Mount Fuji erupt, and getting to see how Princess Rock is jealous of beautiful women. So really, I enjoyed both sections for the different ideals it tried to do. Like the first section, it was downright funny getting to see Isen Boshi's personality like that. I never expected the one inch samurai to just be so mean and vicious and just all of a sudden he completely connects with Momotaru. It's like, I understand, man. I understand. That was so freaking enjoyable. The way they just started acting with each other and started like being best friends. And when you have the rabbit, like they mentioned the badger and the like storytelling and the rabbit gets all angry like badger and you just see the aurora on the freaking rabbit. I love that bipolar rabbit so freaking much. That rabbit is always enjoyable to see on the screen because I just love the personality and the way it acts towards badger. So, anyways, I enjoyed the first section because it had a different feel, and I loved the folklore of the way, like, Hozuki no Reitetsu loves telling it, and they try to add an interesting twist to the series' storytelling. It's really cool. I love it so much, and I love the way they try to flush it out for people that really don't know about the story, but at the same time, they add their own storytelling elements inside of it. Like, finding out that the one-inch samurai, he pretty much just went to hell because he manipulated the princess and everybody in her family to be able to get with her was just downright freaking hilarious. Come on. I mean, who wouldn't, though? I mean, Think about it. I mean, she had the nice, good opa size. So, of course, you know, Isan Boshi would try to do something like that. Anyways, let's move on to the second half of this episode. So, we have a bunch of princesses that are pretty much the Mountain God family. Now, it was so fun getting to see how each princess has their own different, like, personality. Like, Princess Rock, I guess she's not extremely ugly, honestly. I mean, you could definitely see the difference in the two sisters. I mean, if you were to compare them side by side, it was no wonder why, you know, one of the gods gave her up for the other princess. So, I pretty much understand the values there, but really, in my entire thoughts, it was so funny the way she was acting around Hosaki. She's like, oh, and you see the freaking music, the freaking, like, romantic type music start playing. And then all of a sudden you have Hosaki says, I don't like my women to be submissive. I was like... Hoseki, you're sadistic. That's the first thought that popped in my head. Hoseki as a confirmed S. That's exactly what Hoseki is now after this episode. And the way you see the nosebleed of Princess Rock was just freaking hilarious. I love it so much. The animation of those scenes are funny. The way she starts biting her lip and you see her face just distort. I love it. I love it so much. I love the music they used in these scenes. It was so enjoyable. I don't know much about the entire history of the mountain, Mount Fuji and stuff, but finding out that Princess Rock rage because of her jealousy towards other beautiful women blew up the mountain was funny that that was freaking funny okay and also there was a reverse trap in this episode that little boy that pretty much looked like a girl that was supposedly a mountain spirit I was like that's a boy but I thought it was honestly a girl so I was like that's a fucking reverse trap. So, anyways, besides that, I love this episode all around of Hosuki no Rei Tetsu. Next episode looks very promising, because you're going to be getting into Belzebub. You all remember him. He was so freaking awesome when he got to see the actual politic rivalry between him and Hosuki. So, getting to see him next episode will be enjoyable. And next episode also will be the final episode of Hosuki no Rei Tetsu. So, I'm looking forward to it. And at the same time, I'm going to be sad to see this series end, because I love the serious humor in this series. Tell me your thoughts on this episode, everybody. What was your favorite part of this episode? Episode and everybody, you have a wonderful day and out wherever you live. And everybody, I love you so much. TV out.